EdXL GCSE Chemistry Core Practical. Looking at the impact of changing the size of marble chips on the rate of a reaction. Starting with large chips. Marble chips are calcium carbonate. So the reaction we're looking at is calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid gives calcium chloride, water and CO2. We're going to follow the rate of reaction by measuring the amount of CO2 produced using a gas syringe. Starting with 40 centimetres cubed of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. The acid is poured into a conical flask and the gas will be collected using a delivery tube and, as said previously, a gas syringe. Five grams of large marble chips are measured out using a top band balance. The marble chips are added to the acid in the conical flask and the bung placed in as quickly as possible. A digital timer is then started. We have chosen to take readings of the volume of gas every 30 seconds, though using the video and the on-screen timer, you could take them as frequently as you like. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. By thirty seconds, four centimeters cubed of gas has been produced. Fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. By one minute, nine centimeters cubed of gas has been produced. We'll let the experiment run for around five minutes.
by 4 minutes 30, the volume of gas produced has reached 90 centimetres cubed. And in five minutes, it reaches almost exactly 100 centimetres cubed. And here are those results in a table. This is very much a qualitative experiment, but let's see what happens when we use smaller chips. This time using 5 grams of small marble chips, again weighing them out using a top band balance. The chips are added to the same volume and concentration of acid in the conical flask. As soon as they're added, the flask is sealed with a bung and the digital stopwatch started. You should be able to see already that the reaction is much faster, more gas is being produced. And by 30 seconds, 38 centimetres cubed of gas has been produced, compared to the 4 centimetres cubed produced with the large chips. We will only be able to run this experiment for approximately one minute. And at 60 seconds, the volume of gas produced has already exceeded the capacity of the syringe. Now let's try grinding the calcium carbonate into powder. Once again, using the same volume and concentration of acid, we're going to add 5 grams of powdered calcium carbonate. Things may be a little bit quicker this time. So, in conclusion, using this qualitative assessment, the rate of reaction increases with increasing surface area and probably with increasing concentration as well. We could plot a graph and find the rate from a tangent to the curve, but we'll do that later. Thank you for watching.